Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. And in this video, I want to show you how you can apply a spline movement in VSUC Video Editor Pro version. Now, it's actually super easy to apply a spline movement in VSTC Pro. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo image in the editor. So, this is my demo image present right here. And the first thing which I would like to do is I would like to resize this particular image. So let me resize this particular image like this. Next, what we are going to do is we will move this image in a zigzag direction using the movement object. So double click on the image. Now go to add object, go to movement, click on movement and now click on OK. Now move your image towards the right side like this. Next, go to add object once again, go to movement, click on movement and now click on OK. Now move your image towards the left side like this. Next, go to add object once again, go to movement, click on movement and now click on OK. Now move your image towards the right side once again like this. And so if you notice carefully, we have created this sort of zigzag movement right here. So let me just quickly play the video for you. So first my image moves towards the right side, then it moves towards the left side and finally it moves towards the right side. All right. Now, if you have seen my custom path movement tutorial, in that particular tutorial, I had shown you how you can rotate the angle of your image according to your need. So we are going to do something like that here also. So what you need to do is you need to click on this movement layer, which is present right here. And now look inside the movement effect settings, which is present inside the properties window. And inside rotate object currently false is selected. So change this from false to true. Now, the moment you change this from false to true, this rotate angles option will become visible. Currently, the value inside the rotate angles option is zero degree. So you need to write the value inside the rotate angles option according to your need. In my case, I need to write the value 45 because I would like to rotate the image at an angle of 45 degree. So accordingly, I've written 45 and now let me press enter on the keyboard. And as you can see on screen, my image has rotated at an angle of 45 degree. So now if I just quickly play the video for you. So my image moves towards the right side, then it moves towards the left side. And finally, it moves towards the right side. All right. Now to apply a spline movement. So by spline movement, what is really going to happen? So you see these two points. So this particular point and this particular point. So these points will get curved. So right now the lines are straight, right? So lines are straight. But when I apply the spline movement, these points, the connecting points will get curved. So let me show you. So what you need to do is you need to click on this first point, which is present right here, point position one. So it is present right at the beginning. So click on this first point. And now look inside the point settings, which is present inside the properties window. And inside the point settings, you will find this option called mode where currently Bezier curve is selected. So you need to click on this drop down list and you need to select this third option that is spline movement and that's it and as you can see right here the moment i selected spline movement the connecting points turned into curves as you can see right here as well as right here so now if i just quickly play the video for you perfect so this is how you can apply a spline movement in VSDC Video Editor Pro version. So I used this particular um, example 
just to demonstrate to you what exactly spline movement is it kind of turns the connecting points into curves so instead of straight lines it will be curved when the um, when the object is kind of moving so i hope you understood what exactly spline movement is do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching